Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, I have the tiger. The weekly trials that I've been doing. I've made a mistake last week, but I've been recording my voice in mono instead of stereo. So I apologize for that. Okay, so this was a this was a good video in the sense of like the beginning bits. Everybody's wall riding, bumping each other, and I made a fucky wacky and I flipped the car over. We still managed to get the dub, even though the AI is on unbeatable. This was like super easy. A buddy of mine said, um, muscle cars make really good rally cars. And I was like, okay. Since the RS200 failed me because it was slippery, why not use this Emmy and actually see like what's gonna happen? Other than the fact that it has a ton of understeer, but the mere fact that it actually has grip in other areas, so it is an extremely plus point for me. So I just decided to go with that. You'll see the lineup of cars that's in the loading area. Centenarios. Fucking Lamborghinis because it is a anything goes. So I hope that those guys actually came with like a dirt tune specifically. Because in the first race, the Diablo, he was the first person out because what the fuck are you doing with the car like that in a dirt race if it's not a dirt tune? So I ended up realizing during this voiceover but why the AI in this particular race wasn't so daunting as in even for the Horizon 4 um, because this is an anything goes race and the AI for some reason tried to match up with one of the driver uh, player drivers like if one is like a muscle car other one is like proper rally car the other one is a you know a track toy then they try to match those cars with the AI cars as well and then the AI drivers actually suffer I think due to the tune that they're using compared to what the human drivers are using and you'll notice that all the human drivers tend to be from first to sixth and I think the one person who left that one doesn't have like a actual uh, 13 on his car but the AI just ended up getting destroyed in this one and I think that's the reason why because the fine edition one we, everybody could use whatever power class that they wanted to use all the cars in the X class cars they were like fucking extra open but I actually wanted to do that one with all A class cars just to see like what the difference in the AI would be but I couldn't get enough people to actually do that event with me so, but that's actually when I started to notice where the difference is with the AI for this particular variant of the game compared to um, compared to Forza Horizon 4.
in the beginning of the second race you can see the white huracan i'm just driving past him the yellow huracan sliding about and i'm thinking to myself like what tune is on those two cars for them to fall back on a tarmac road or asphalt road and then you get the centenario who is in second place up until the point to where i was taking but there's the thing again where i mentioned in the beginning of the clip or the video that they shouldn't match the driver to cars with the player cars they should actually figure out like what cars goes goes best in the race to make the actual race more difficult because with this setup the game the uh, race just went on to easy mode i mean i did this for a third time again with a different car and to see that the ai or the human players coming with those cars again you end up just dominating the ai which is a bitchy but i mean if you want to if something unfair you can always just go play um, online but i'll be online when the rank mode is back in the game but the open ai open races i don't like the loading times with people jumping in and out of races So I ended I added the results for the first win with the prize and it's a fucking boring stress and I realized that, like why is this a prize for a trial event? Like why? But anyways if you've made it all this far in the video, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys with some more content and have a awesome day.